When traffic becomes denser and driving is more of a strain than fun, autonomous systems will in future be able to take over driving. For example, in stop and go traffic. This increases comfort as well as safety. Of course, the driver can regain control over the vehicle at any point. However, particularly in situations like this, he will increasingly wonder why he should. Intelligent traffic control units use variable speed limits to improve traffic flow. This is also something future cars will automatically be able to react to. When the maximum allowed speed is reduced, the car will accordingly slow down on its own. And should there still be a traffic jam despite of this, following traffic can be informed in due time by those cars already trapped in congestion. Miriam opts to take the suggested alternative route. The lightning-quick information transfer between vehicles is especially critical when danger is imminent, as it can instantly defuse a potentially hazardous situation. Here, Frank can easily avoid the broken-down truck despite the fact that he probably hadn't even seen it yet. Of course, all systems can also be combined in one. This will enable fully autonomous and comfortable driving from the moment you enter the highway up until exit. Keeping distance, maintaining the lane, sticking to the relevant speed limits, even changing lanes and overtaking. Everything works automatically and Miriam can start relaxing before she even arrives home. In the meanwhile, Paul and Frank are also about to reach their destination. Autonomous driving and intelligent vehicle communication by Mercedes-Benz have made driving quite a bit easier on their way, as well as relieving them of some less than pleasant tasks on the road. Refreshed and at ease, they both set off on their hike.